Welcome to my channel. Today I would be I will be reading a story called The Lamb Who Came for Dinner. Vegetable soup again? mourned the old wolf. Oh, I wish I had a little lamp. I could make stew my favorite. Just then, knock knock. It was a little lamp. Can I come in? The little lamp said. Yes, my dear, do come in. You're just in time for dinner, sniggered the old wolf. The little lamb was shivering with cold. Brr, brr, she went. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a frozen lamb. I hate frozen food. So he put her next to the fire that to throw her out. The old Wolf looked up a recipe for lamp stew. Mmm, he felt hungry just at the thought of it. The lamp was feeling hungry too. Her tummy rumbled. Rumble, rumble, it went. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamp with a rumbling tummy. I might get indigestion. So he gave the lamp a carrot to eat. Stuffing, he said to himself. The little lamb gobbled the carrot down so quickly that she got the hiccups. Hic, hic, hiccup. She went, goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb with hiccups. I might touch them too. But he didn't know how to cure hiccups. He tried throwing the lamp in the air. Hic. That didn't work. He held her upside down. Hic. That didn't work. He twirled her around and around. Hiccup. That didn't work either. So the old wolf put the lamp over his shoulder and patted her back with his hairy big paw. The lamp stopped hiccuping and snuggled under the old wolf's shaggy chin and fell fast asleep in his arms. The wolf felt Funny, he'd never been hugged by his dinner before, and suddenly he didn't feel so hungry after all. The little old wolf snored gently in his ear. Snore, snore, she went. Goodness gracious me, whispered the wolf. Old wolf, I can't eat a lamb that's snoring. The old wolf sat down in the chair by the fire, the little lamp warm on his chest, and thought just how very long it had been since anyone had given him a hug. He sniffed, then he sniffed again, and the lamp smelled so, so delicious. Oh, groaned the wolf, if I eat her quickly, it'll be all right and he was just about to gobble her up when she woke up and gave him a great big kiss. Smack! No, howled the wolf. That's not fair. I am a big bad wolf and you are yummy, yum, yum. Yum, yum, said the little lamp with a smile. Then she pointed at the old wolf and said, Oof! Oh, give me strength, groaned the wolf. You'll have to go. He whimpered the little lamp up warmly and put her outside. Now go away, he shouted. If you stay here, I'll eat you, and then we'll both be sorry. And he shut the door with a big bang. It was dark outside and cold. The lamp banged on the door. Woof! She cried, can I come in, woof? But the old wolf stuck his fingers in his ears and went, la, 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 until she stopped and went at last quiet. Thank goodness she's gone, thought the wolf. She's not safe with a hungry wolf like me. Then she thought of the lamp all alone in the dark woods. He might get lost. 
she might get frozen she even might get eaten oh no what have i done he howled and leapt up and opened the door the lamp was gone the old wolf rushed out into the dark wood crying little lamp little lamp come back i won't eat you i promise much much later a sad soggy old wolf tugged wearily back to his cottage alone he pushed open the door and there by the fire sat the lamp you came back said the wolf with a smile don't you have anywhere else to go the little lamb shook her head would you like to stay here with me asked the wolf the little lamb gave him a hard stare not eat me wolf no she said goodness gracious me said the old wolf i can't eat a lamb who needs me i might get heartburn the little lamb smiled and then threw herself into the wolf's arms are you feeling hungry asked the wolf how about some vegetable soup it's my favorite that's the end and if you want to listen to more stories subscribe to my channel this is alia signing off